the government of Maharashtra and Mumbai University for coming together to make this institute a reality. This is a prime example of how the public sector and the private sector can combine with good intention. To build a world-class institute aimed at benefiting the poor. I have had various interactions with the Indian diaspora across the globe. During the last three and a half years of or so, I have felt an intense desire to make a contribution to India. Through this institute, Ramesh and Sunil ji have blended this desire with a futuristic vision of a prosperous and vibrant India. In doing so, they have set an example that is worthy and emulation. Friend, today, India is one of the fastest growing economies of the world. We are using technology in an unparalleled way from agriculture to aeronautics and from space missions to service delivery. We are also witnessing a wave of entrepreneurship, ranging from small enterprises to big ticket investments. These are just a few indicators to show how well placed we are to fare in the upcoming fourth industrial revolution. Friends, with the arrival of artificial intelligence, Boards and robots, there is no doubt that our productivity will further go up. But there are also rising fears of human redundancy because there is a competition between the mind and the machine. Such fears are neither unfounded nor new. At every stage of technology evolution, we have faced such doubts and questions. This leads to two views of the future. First, brings hopes and aspirations, and second, being fears and disruption. Technology opens an entirely new sphere and sector for growth. It also openly opens an entirely new paradigm of opportunities. With each wave of new technology, many new opportunities arise. New opportunities have always outnumbered the lost ones. Human ingenuity has always prevailed and it will continue to do so in the future. This optimism stems from my firm faith in ancient Indian thinking that blended science and spirituality and found harmony between the two for the greater good of mankind. I'm reminded of the Gyan Sukta from the Yajurve Taitrai Aranyaka. Satte Saram Pratishtaram. The spirit of science inquiry was rooted in the pursuit of truth. Our ancient texts go on to further list the mental faculties that assist in this pursuit of the truth. Sardha, dedication. Medha, mental capacity. Manisha, intelligence. Manasa, mind. Shanti, peace. Chit, elevated state of consciousness. Smruti, memory. Smaran, recall. And Vigyan, application of knowledge. From this scientific inquiry, this pursuit of the truth, it will be obtained the ultimate creative bliss for the greater good of mankind. It is this vision of the technology for development that I am inspired by, and it is this spirit of scientific advancement that gives me optimism about the future. The road ahead for artificial intelligence depends on and will be driven by human intentions. It is our intention that will determine the outcomes of artificial intelligence. With every industrial revolution, the scalability of technology has increased manifold. This has given human increasingly more power and create an impact in whatever he does through technology. It is this ethic of development 
that will ensure equity for all peoples. The march of technology cannot be at the expense of further increasing the difference between societies over access to technology. The evolution of technology has to be rooted in the ethic of sabka saath, sabka vikas. Friends, can we take the global lead on creating artificial intelligence that is less about making humans redundant and more about enhancing human abilities and expanding human capacities? Can we make the future less about machines displacing humans to a future about humans becoming better humans by covering their weaknesses into the strength for the greater good of mankind. Friends, at the intersection of artificial intelligence, big data and human understanding is the solution of many problems we are facing. We need to make artificial intelligence in India and make artificial intelligence for, work for India. I would urge all of you to identify the grand challenges that artificial intelligence can solve for India. We are such a diverse nation of tens of hundreds of languages and hundreds of dialects. Can we have intelligent artificial intelligence that make communication and conversation across these languages and dialects easier, and I'm sure it can. I always believe that the Dibyans are our asset and the nation owes it to them to empower them. Can we have artificial intelligence and robotics that enhance their ability to empower them to perform tasks and bring out their true potential? Can the combination of teachers and artificial intelligence help us bridge the gap in teacher-student ratio, this will help us deliver quality education to every student across India. Can artificial intelligence help us take quality health care to every corner of India by expanding capacities of our health care workers? Can artificial intelligence help us predict natural calamities? Can artificial intelligence help us de detect serious health conditions before they manifest physically? Can artificial intelligence help our farmers make the right decisions regarding weather, crop, and showing cycle? Friends, our government is of the firm belief that we can use this power of 21st century technology to eradicate poverty and disease. In doing so, we can bring prosperity to our people and underprivileged citizens. We are committed to achieving this vision. The Digital India Initiative aims at transforming India into a digitally empowered society and a knowledge economy. Under BharatNet, we are providing broadband internet connectivity to every village. This digital infrastructure provides the backbone for innovative IT solutions for service delivery and innovative applications. The Union Government National Skill Development Mission is also aimed at ensuring our rightly skilled workforce, keeping in mind global job requirements of the next few decades. We have also launched the Atal Innovation Mission to promote a culture of innovation and entrepreneurship. Its objective is to serve as a platform for promotion of world-class innovation hubs, grand challenges, startup businesses, and other self-employment activities, particularly in technology-driven areas. The Atal Innovation Mission is establishing Atal Tinkering Lab laboratories in schools across India with a vision to encourage one million children in India to become young innovators. Through these steps, we aim to keep pace with emerging technology so that they can be used for the benefit of our people. Friends, I'm sure the scientists, researchers, and pioneers at this institute will have the best interest of the common people of India in their hearts as they go back and go about the work. I wish them India shall be in a unique position.
to show the entire world how artificial intelligence can be applied safely and responsibly for the benefit of the common man. I am pleased to inaugurate this institute and hope that it shall remain committed to the service of our people. Thank you. Thank you very much. And thanks to Vardwani family. We thank the Honorable Prime Minister for taking time off his busy schedule to join us today. We thank the Governor of Maharashtra, the Honorable Chief Minister of Maharashtra, and all our other dignitaries for their support in making this function a grand success. Ladies and gentlemen, Please remain in your places while the Prime Minister and our other dignitaries leave the stage. Thank you all.